in this lecture we will learn about finding derivatives of implicit functions and of inverse trigonometric functions okay so you can understand what we will study first is we will know about what is implicit function okay what is implicit function so we will try to know this then how to find how to find derivative of implicit function okay third we will learn how to find derivative of inverse trigonometric function okay inverse trigonometric function so this forms the summary of the lecture what we are going to learn so first thing what is implicit function okay so implicit function here means what we can write okay so x square plus y square is equal to a square okay if y is equal to f of x this is an explicit function explicit function which means what the function we can directly write very cleanly y on one side and all function of fx like x cube plus x square plus sine of x everything is on the right very cleanly separated but what about this x square plus y square plus sine x into y okay plus y cos of x is equal to sine of x into y so this expression now if i asked you to separate it in the form y is equal to fx it would be difficult i think what i have written i have written randomly but it will be difficult now you have y square sin x this is basically y into sin x and then y cos x is equal to sin xy so it's not that easy to find something like y is equal to fx okay but if i give you something like x minus y is equal to a square plus b square or x minus y is equal to 2 then you can easily do y is 2 minus y is equal to x minus 2 so this is now written explicitly this was an implicit function so i hope you understand what is explicit function what is implicit function now let's look if you are given something like find dy by dx if so if y plus sine y is equal to cos of x okay so this is the function that is given so this is now this is implicit function this is implicit function because it's difficult now to write y is equal to f of x isn't it because y plus sine y is cos x but how we can do find we just have to find dy by dx and not y is equal to fx so we don't even need to find y is equal to fx form what we can do is again apply the rules of differentiation y here we assume y is a function of x so we apply the chain rule so what will happen and some rule so left hand side it becomes if we take the derivative it becomes y is a function of x so it becomes dy by dx if we differentiate y with respect to x it becomes dy by dx plus sine y so sine y is now we can apply the chain rule here so sine y if, with respect to y it becomes differentiation so here we do d sine of y by dy into dy by dx so we can write d sine y by dy is 
cos of y dy by dx is equal to d f dash of cos x so that is minus sin of x now this is the equation so we just try to put dy by dx so this becomes 1 plus cos of y is equal to minus sin of x so this becomes dy by dx is equal to minus sin of x by 1 plus cos y okay so now this is the derivative and here this will be defined if cos y plus 1 is not equal to 0 or cos of y is not equal to minus 1. So where is cos y equal to minus 1? So it is equal where y is equal should not be equal to 2n plus 1 phi okay so at these points it is not defined otherwise dy by dx is this so now let's look at another example okay and that will be from our inverse trigonometric function so why we are coming to inverse trigonometric function after implicit functions so that first i have to we have to see the relation okay so let's see y is equal to sine inverse x okay so y is sine inverse x so what does this tell so it says that y is the angle whose sign is x so sine inverse x is the angle whose sign is x so here what can we do it's difficult to operate on sine inverse so we will take sine here so sine y is equal to sine of sine inverse x so the property or by property of inverse function this becomes x so sine of y is equal to x so now this is an so here we did the other way around so we had a very explicit function and we converted into a implicit function by taking the sign on both sides so now this is an implicit function but what is easy here we have an easy function to differentiate sine inverse x we didn't know but we know the differentiation of, of x so what we do here and sin y also we know so d sin y by dx but sin y by dx i also we cannot find so we can write by chain rule d sin of y by dy into dy by dx is equal to dx by x dx which is 1 ok so we differentiate on both sides sine differentiation with respect to y is cos y dy by dx is equal to 1 now dy by dx is equal to 1 by cos y so this tells what so we have cos y which becomes 1 by cos y is now sine inverse x okay now let's try to see if we can write this in terms of x itself okay so what happens is that if you take okay so sine inverse x so an angle whose sine is x so c so this is whose sign is x so this is theta and this is one this is x okay so this is the theta for which sign is x so this one becomes root under 1 minus x square so for this angle the cos is root under 1 minus x square so 
the cos of this angle will be 1 by root under 1 minus x square okay and here what should happen so x should be between minus 1 and 1 okay it can never become 1 or minus 1 because this will become 0 okay so this is the domain of x and we see that okay the differentiation of sine inverse x is 1 by root under 1 minus x square okay so i hope you understand this so this